Okay, that will give us the extension that we need there and go out when the customer starts watching in either. So this is going to be the downstairs toilet and this we're going to be fitting grow heat growth whatever you say it's going to be a wall hung toilet now the reason we've gone for a wall hung toilet is space limited space um the other side of that wall's my office so i want to give my office as much room as i can but i wanted quite a big utility to fit everything in so the toilet had to be quite small it's only going to be a downstairs toilet so don't need that much room so we went for a wall hung toilet so it's going to come to about here you've got enough space yeah that should be fine so let's unbox it there is the frame so it comes with all your instructions that you need all your pipes all your fittings bolts and looking at that really i want that straight onto the floor obviously i've got the stud work in the way i'll put the stud work there because we just can have a standard toilet but when me and the wife looked at it, we thought mm, it's going to be a little bit tight in here. That's why we've gone for this option, so we can get it right back against the wall. And we've got one upstairs, and it looks mint, to be fair. Um, so I'm going to have to take this stood out. I'm going to have to this stood out. I'm going to have to this stood out. I'm going to have to reinforce that wall. I'm going to have to move the studs. Reinforce it a bit, so I'll have one going across the top there, one of the side. You can see there's a fixing hole there. That can fix onto that stud just about, I think. So I have to move that stud. Just everything in the way of that. I mean, that's the link we made over there. And pipe work. Pipe work runs through the back of there, and eventually, excuse the mess. That's going to be the boiler room. I'm going to have a boiler cylinder. This is about seven pipes there. Uh, I'm going to zone off all the house. But we're trying to live in this at the moment and there's just stuff everywhere. It's a nightmare. First thing I'm going to do, get that stud work out of the way and get that in position and see where we want it. Let's go for it. So, I've got the stud work out of the way. I measured it to the height, that's 1130. 1130, something like that. You can see the frame when it comes, it doesn't reach. So, there is two bolts down here. I'm going to show you how you just undo them and you can bring it up to the right height. You have 13, 13 mil battery, that's what we were set. Really good set, though. There's a bolt here, if I'm done. A bolt there, if I'm done, and that should. You shouldn't be able to pull it up. That bit should stay down. There you go. See there we go. Right up. Again, it's just gonna, it just moves up and down. There's a bolt here. I my hand first is pretty loose. What I've done now is put that stud work back in. So that's gonna be resting on there, two there. That'll be solid, that will. That'll be absolutely solid. Sound, so the frame's in. The only thing I'm worried about though is there's two bolts that have got to go through here and they're supposed to go on to a support. Obviously, there's a 
there's a massive gap here. The reason there's a big gap beyond there is, look down here, that's where my waste pipe comes out and I couldn't put it anywhere else. It had to go there, so yeah, bit of a pain. Let's, let's have a think how we're going to do that. Um, I'll show you the bolts. Let's have a look at them. So these are the bolts that they give you. You see that? That'll just go on your wall. And that bit goes through there. And there's a clamp that goes through this bit. So it bolts it on and that is screwed into the back. So you put your nut on first. You've got a little nut. Put that on. Screw that into the back of the uni. So that's on the back of the uni. You push it in, whatever, wherever you want to go, and you clamp it on. But I'll show you, I've got enough to fix it on too. That's my bolts on. See them up there? That's bolted on. But I'm going to put the. But I'm going to put that on. See, so you got that that movement that you can do. So that'll go in further if needed. That'll come through that hole there, all the way through. So you've got lots of movement. I've just got nothing to put down onto. <sighs> okay. I've had to move the frame back slightly because when I put the elbow in, it wasn't lining up to here. Plus, I need to get my base and waist in. So I need to go in at the top here. So I've put a T in. That should go onto there now, but it's just annoying, ain't that? It's just too short. So I'm going to get an extension piece from there into there. And it actually comes with an adapter to bring it from 90 to 110. So that fit all right. You can see there, just a bit further back, which is fine because the flush pipe, the plate, and everything will extend. So yeah, that's it in. I've got it fixed here. Two at the bottom there, two at the bottom there. And this, I'm thinking about putting a piece of wood on here so I can bolt onto there. And that should be that one fine. The stud, I've got to put that back in, put a piece on here so I can get a fixing on here. Then it's just this fixing. Obviously there's nothing there for it to fix to. So let's get the rest of that done first. Then we'll worry about that in a minute. But yeah, you see, it's just slightly back into the woodwork. So let's get on to that. We've got, look, I can't really see it, but there's a the gap about that big. Which is annoying because if that was over that way, just that much, it would be straight in. But got the adapter. This will take it from um, the 90mm to 110. That's just silicon spray. So. Take that off there. Okay, let's put some on here as well. Never give me dry. Get plenty of lube on there. You don't need to push the seal out. There we go. That's on. Now it just clips into here, so you'll see. Click that. Into there. Oh man, it is the smallest gap in the world. It is so small. I'll show you. That's the gap that I've got. How annoying. We can overcome this. Go out when the customer starts watching you, neither. Customer being my wife. Yeah. This is my own house. Um, which is a bit of a pain because you don't get paid to do stuff on your own house, do you? So you ain't got the incentive to, to do it. Keep telling us, you don't have to worry, we have three months to keep to do it. And this has been good on a while. So, let's see. Get that in there. Come out. Don't fit. Don't fit. It's the wrong one. No. Actually, the gap that I've got there. Well, I've got a bit sort of point with a socket on the end. So the socket will fit over that bit. 
and it'll go straight into there. So yeah, I know I'm using that's underground drainage. I know, I know it's what it's what I had in the carport. <laughs> all gonna buy another tea, it'll be fine behind there, it's all gonna be insulated. There's nothing nothing wrong as far as I can say using underground above ground, it's just a different colour. Um was it made out of different stuff? I don't know. All I know is it's going there. So yeah, let's measure that and cut it. I put a piece in. Cut it down. So I measured from there into the fitting, which was 120. So the sham for the edge. Now you can actually buy the attachments to go into the drills to do this for you, but old school oil. Just gonna fold it down. Plenty of lube on there. Oh, plenty in there. So let's get this in. Uh, yeah, get in the back there. Nice allows of room. That should be straight in there. And that should click into there. He says. See there. There we go. That is spot on. That's it all in. So I'm gonna need an adapter to come off there for the base and it's gonna go there. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do, remember what I said about this bracket here. Well, that window's coming out, being bricked up. So what I'm gonna have to do is take the window out, brick it up. I'm gonna put a piece of wood on the back here, bulk it out, so I've got something to fix onto this one. It's peaceable done to there. That's bolted. See if we can get a better angle. There we go. This one bolted onto here. There's two clips, one that goes through there, a metal one and a blue one that goes on the front. What you can actually do on these is inside the hole, you see it? It's positive drive adjustment. So you can move it in and out until this is completely straight. Which is nice and convenient. We want to test that now. We want to test them joints. So, let me do that. Get the house pipe, I suppose. It's still downstairs tall. I've got the house pipe in the box. Not to mention, there's a little black clip. Can you see there? Attached into there. It just pushes up and that holds your waste pipe in place then. So, a black clip goes on the bottom. You can grab the house pipe, stick it in, and uh, see what happens. Everything should be everything should be nice and tight with that, though. They all went in fine, so. Yeah, it's so hot at the moment. It's making me knackers off. Right, let's give that a try. So I've got the house boy. And you can see the apprentice has come to help. So yeah, he wanted to get in on the action. So can you hold that house boy? I'm just going to turn the water on. Uh, uh, I'm just going to go in there and then this. Well, he's going to test this point, mate. Can you hear me? Yeah. So the water's just come on. Hopefully he holds that in there. Don't put it out yourself, mate. Can you see the leaks? I saw it. Any leaks? No. No leaks? You've done something right then. Um, 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 um. Hey, hey, Daddy, what's going on? Can you see the water? Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, do you want to go and tell Mommy to turn it off? Yeah? Good lad. So, yeah, that's it. Turn it off now. Just water down there just to check these joints here. And it all looks fine. Frames in. That is absolutely solid. That is not going nowhere. It's got four fixings at the bottom, one on each of the sides, one on the top left. It's got the frame as well, and it's going to have one on the top right with that bracket. So I've got to set the window out, break it up, then I'll put that bracket in. Uh, but yeah, that is absolutely solid. Now, for the basin. I'm come straight off this tee. That's a Macau point waist up to that solid plastic. You can use 32 or 40 mil, one or the other. So it's got a little adapter inside, take that out and make it 40 mil. But we want 32 because the wash hand basin's going in here. So we just bang that straight in. There we go. Come off there with the pipe, the waste for the wash hand basin. So for the water connection, comes this adapter. There you go. There's a couple of ways you can go into it. Through the back here. Or there is a knockout at the side. 
So our pipe's about there. So we can give me straight up the back. Um, yeah, that goes through from the back. Then it tightens on all that. So it's just the connection and the isolators on the front. And I'm pulling that through the back. So that goes on through the back. And just tighten that on. This is the hose that comes with it. So I was trying to get you a bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. You can see the two connections there. There's one there, one there. That just apparently goes on there, but look how big that is. I think we have to, yeah, you have to, you can't put this on the square. You have to definitely go on the angle. going like that because the hose is massive I might actually move this to the side here because there ain't very much that's on the side here so let's move back a bit so there's a knockout there probably see where my hands are going pull that out it's a blanking disc pull that on the back there we go and Feed that through. And then we've got to get our holes on from there. Oh, that is, that is tight. Feels like I'm cross, but I need it. It just feels really tight. And that one should. Into that. That's better. That's good. So that's where it connects onto the float valve, just there. You'll see. That's the side entry one. It comes out just here. So now I'm thinking is we can clip our pipe down there. So that's our cold there. Bring the pipe into there. What we've got sold on now is the hot and cold and the waste for the vanity unit. Wife's still outside what she wants, but it's going to be 500 wide, um, either wall mounted or floor to on the floor. It's going to be 800 plus sink 850. So I'll show you the lines that I've drawn and explain to them. That one there, that's how from floor. There, that's 850 so it's 800 for the unit 50 mil for the sink then I've gone down to here uh, 140 because that's the depth of the sink so that's about where I want my waist somewhere there and obviously you've got your flexies so hot and cold either side should be fine see where that yeah, that far off there, she's got to come up and out. That's about the centre. That's scraggly line. I tried, I tried to draw a line, but it just started going with the grain of the wood. That's why it's all over the place. But that's 250. That's uh, the centre of the vanity. So, my waist, just going to bring that up and out. Get some support on there. And my hot and cold. I might stick another batten in here. Just so they can come out and rest on the wood as some support. So they're just all flopping all over the place. Like I said, there's a big void behind here. It's quite a big void. Uh, that's the hot pipe. And there's a cold that I cut off earlier. So we've got to get the cold feed to the toilet. Just put a clip on there. That's going to go up the side of there. The tee off for the basin. And that should be that done. It's a cold feed there. Just about to see it on the camera. So I've got it clipped to this button here. I'll put these two pieces of wood in here. So I can put a clip on them and bring them out for the hot and cold.
pots and collar them in. It's all been piped up for the back of the uh, into the toilet now. I've got to figure out is my waist. So that's the centre. So ideally, I'll just want to come in, in the centre of these two now. But there's a big joist in the way, so I don't think I'm off really enough. I'm going to take a bit out of here and you'll see why in a minute. Cut a bit off. Then the Ox Flex cutters. I've got both sets. That'll do the bigger stuff and the other ones do the little stuff. Pretty good, I've had them a while now. So, need two loads of support. I'm sure to get the tape measure and measure it. But who's got time for that? Especially when you're working on your own now. So, what we do is just get a elbow onto here. Plenty of solvent welds. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Solvent weld is cheap. Welcome back to the lake. It's going to cost the time and money. So I'm just going to get this quickly soldered up here. There we go. Pop that into there. That should come out there. And that should come right in the middle where we want it. It is a bit of an angle, ideal world. That one would be there, that would be in the perfect position, but it ain't the ideal world. It never is when you're plumbing. It really ain't. It just, everything's just never in the right place. So let's uh, be generous with the, the point. Turn the cutters the right way because if you don't, you're going to spoil it. So, we want that coming up like that. Yep, yeah, then we've got enough for our boards and everything. So, let's work that out. Get that glued up, and that should be the basin all first fixed then. I think that's enough for one day in your own house. I could, I could be uh, crafting all week then, working <laughs> all weekend on my own house. So, I'll just cut that down to size. Again, just being really generous with the solvent weld. Plenty on there. Get that elf one, and we are in the middle. I'm just going to put quite a big stab up there. I can cut it down once I've got the unit. Yeah, let's just pop that in. Again, just be generous with the solvent. Well, I can't say that enough. You never have too much. You probably can, but I don't have it all seal up and have no leaks. I'm running out. There we go. Put that in. Give me a twist. Make sure it all spreads. You don't know that won't set if you keep turning. But as soon as you let go, leave it a few seconds sets so yeah that's quite a tip if you're solving well if you just want to try and get in place when you're struggling just keep turning because it won't set until you actually stop that's going to leave a clip on it look so yeah i can get a clip in there yeah full clip in there just to keep it against the wall get these capped off and that is the basin first fix ready for the wife to sort on what vanity unit she wants when that'll be, I don't know. I can't actually get the clip in, because every time I put it in, it's pushing it right against the wall, and it's hitting my pipe. So, use a bit of that strap banding. I'm gonna get that bent around the pipe, back against the wall. Too high, come on. So where's the last bit of the job I did? It's not making mistakes and it starts going wrong. I 
Okay. That'll just stop it from falling down. Get that to the right way. Get that pushed home. There we go. That is good. That is good. That's got to say, it's got a board and tile. So that should be just about right. I'll get some uh, elbow isolation, valve sleeves once I do the vanity. So that's it all piped up. Get cap end on the coals. We'll turn the water on and make sure we've got no leaks. And that's ready for the boarding and tiling there. Come these two red adapters, you put them in so you can tile around them. Then you get the bolts, these obviously go into the toilet. They're just screwing. Obviously there's two holes either side, two here, two there. You have to find out on the toilet that you've got which ones you need to use. I just need, need to go the nearest ones, so you just screw them in. It comes with these little tubes as well. So once you've screwed that in, what you can do, put the tube over. And that'll protect the bolt when your toilet comes and sticks all these grout and adhesive all over it. There's also another one at the top that I'm going to show you in a minute. Again, you just leave that in place while the tile and then you can cut it off once of all tiled. And this is the one for the top bit, it's just a bit of plastic. And so you leave that in and what you can do is when it's all tiled you'll see you can just cut around it and you flush back to it in. So let's pop that on. There we go, that's all in. Quick run through of what I've done. So we started off moving the frame out of the way. Got all the frame round in there, that's all secure. We've obviously got the the one in there, the one back bolt, but obviously I can't do nothing with that one until I've sorted out the wall there. So I'm gonna take that window out, brick it up, then we're gonna sort that one out. Coal is piped up at the back here. Uh, it's got a, you see it there? That's a half inch to 15 mil that we used. That rapid blue stuff instead of the PTF here. It's really good that rapid blue stuff is. That's clipped at the back here. Connects into the mains down there. The waist, I just sort all that out. That's got a nice fall on it. See that's just going down slightly. Into there, the basin. That's already first fixed for the wife to sort what she wants. But yeah, that is it. So the two fixings at the bottom here. I've tightened them bolts up two bolts tight we've got another fit in here and on here just to keep that secure the most important this was 230 to the center there so yeah 230 it depends on your toilet just watch watch that because it depends on your toilet we measured ours and if the center of that was 230 the bottom of it would be absolutely fine once you've got all them fittings in it is rock solid you could literally jump on it it is, they are really, really strong. So we've got the now, just board it and tile it. Then I can do another video on actually fitting it because it ain't that hard now. All you gotta do is get the right distance for your flush pipe, for your waist, and that is job done. It's always hard working on your own now, so you no pain. But it's gotta be done. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, thanks to everyone. Let's subscribe so far. Uh, I think we're nearly at 300 from the day that I put it which is pretty good going to be fair. Um, I've only been doing a month on YouTube properly, so I'm happy with that. Um, I'm gonna have to look at giving, doing a giveaway if I can get to a thousand. If I can get to a thousand, I'll do a giveaway. Um, Cause that'll be, that'll be amazing if we get to a thousand to be fair. If there's anything you wanna see or you wanna see me do, just let me know. I'll try and help you out. Have a good one.